hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel sgs web builder once more again so if you're watching my video first time then don't forget to subscribe my channel so in this video we will be doing the setup of winens digital trading platform on cpanel so what are the requirements in this video so you should have a cpanel a domain or a subdomain and the source code of the winens so if you don't have these things for example if you don't have the hosting or a domain then you can use local host and i will be providing the uh, download link in this video from where you can download all the files okay so let us start it without wasting any more time so i have a login to my c panel so now let's go to the file manager and upload the source code or the zip file of the winens in the file manager so to upload just click on upload button and from here you can drag or drop or you can select the file from your file manager okay so i have already uploaded the zip file so now i will be simply extracting it in the public html okay so just extract it in public html public html just extract files yeah it's extracting so let's open the domain firstly yeah this is our domain i, I am using subdomain if you have a domain or subdomain it doesn't matter i'm just making a setup video okay so you can see i am refreshing in my again so still yeah it's done now okay close open the public html again open the files make sure that the all the files are under public html select all and move these to public html just move all the files under public html and now refresh your domain you can see a composer detected issue in your platform your composer dependence requires a php version greater than equals to 8.3 so now just go to the cpanel and search for php version select php version now we have to change the php version uh, currently i am using php version less than 8.3 that's why we are getting this error so how to solve this error it's very easy guys uh, it's very easy uh, in php uh, version we have to select the version which is 8.3 or greater than 8.3 so just uh, you can see i am using current version uh, the php version current the php current version is 7.4 so that's why we were getting this issue so now i am uh, selecting 8.3 okay just apply and now our error error will be solved just wait and now we will be refreshing our site so you can see the error is solved and now the setup starts so yes i agree next step yeah you can see uh, there are basic requirements there are basic permission we have to give to the files you can see the first one is uh, bootstrap catch the file permission is this we have to change this to this so let's again go to file manager and you can follow the file path core bootstrap catch okay just go to core bootstrap and catch we have to change this permission to from uh, 755 to 775 so just uh, right click and change permission so this is changed to 775 next one core storage just uh, storage storage store yeah right click change permission changes to 775 next is store app store sorry storage app change permission changed next is storage framework framework change permission 775 change next one is storage logs change permission from 755 to 775 changed and now again refresh it yeah requirements check passed so now we can proceed to our next step so here we will be uh, requiring a database we have to create a database now again go back to c panel go to manage my database yeah this is manage my database we have to create a database a user and a, uh, and we have to give it a password so i will be giving uh, giving it a name okay create new database so our database is created now we have to create a user i will be giving the password again confirm your password okay now 
so we are creating the user so our user is created now we have to add the user to our database okay so now just simply add user to the database just add make sure the user you created the database you created are same okay so here come here existing database or uh, you have we have to do uh, give the database name database host type has local host local host database username and database password and for uh, admin login we have to give a username so for admin I, I will be giving the username admin password and uh, email address so email address will be admin at the rate gmail.com install now so we will be we are installing our full site based on the Binance digital trading platform so yeah so our setup is done now go to the website and activate so you can see we have successfully done the setup of Binance digital trading platform on cPanel if you want me to make a separate video on a Binance a setup on localhost so just add your comments if I get a good number of comments I will be making a separate video on localhost part also okay